This poster was made in the 70s. And if you look at it, it's Thelonious Monk sitting at a piano. And the album that was coming out was called Rainbow. So there's Rainbow. And they hired De Kooning to do it. So De Kooning did the print. And it was a, you know, they only print so many. And then his name is right here in the plate. But on this poster, he came back and signed it in, po in pencil. So this is a, a Net Steinberger electric violin. It's fretted. I play this. It's just a lot of fun. And then this one is uh, from the 1850s. It's a Nunes Hornsteiner. I wound up trading a painting when I lived in New York. I was three blocks away from Matthias Lerner's violin shop by Lincoln Center. And when, when Matthias learned I was a, a painter, he collected he collects art so i'd go in there and and he'd never i couldn't pay to have my bows done or anything i'd always bring him a drawing and then when i wanted to move up i thought i was better i could go to a better violin he sent me this violin no money no nothing he just sent me this thing then when i had a show a year later then he came to the show and we traded he took a painting a big painting for it So that painting in the background, that is my biggest body of work. And I started doing those when I moved to New York around 2004. And it was like, I was a West Coast painter before that, regional around here. But when I got to New York, then I got influenced by the New York art scene. And I had this idea, and I've been painting it for 20 years now, is that I put something from Andy Warhol in the background and I paint over it. And that's what I call it, painting over Andy Warhol. And I've got maybe five, six hundred of those paintings. That's one of the last ones I did. I'm also a sculptor, although I haven't worked for a long time. Uh, it's more like going back to graduate school. I was doing metal sculpture. Uh, but always the base is the tough part. Do you put your sculpture on? You know, what, do you just use a, a white box for a base? When I realized earlier this year, or late last year, that a Brillo box would make a nice sculpture piece, then I got this idea and I've been working on it. This one, I collected objects that were from Hurricane Irma and built this. And then I have a background in art history. So what I'm doing when I'm, when I'm building these is I'm, this form is based on a Renaissance sculpture piece or Greek sculpture. So uh, there's actually, a, you know, there's a, there's a method to my madness. And so I'm using found objects from d these disasters in building, uh, reproducing a classical sculpture piece and using a Warhol box for a pedestal. And then we had the fire this summer. I was in the evacuation line. I pulled out my violin and I had a lot of publicity from that. And my image went the viral thing, you know, to China, India, all around. And it kind of opened my eyes to how much these disasters and climate change was affecting so many people. That's what my pieces are about. And I'm using objects from these disasters to build sculpture. These are like sketches that I make. I take some Renaissance sculpture and I'll, I'll sketch it. It starts changing, I'll do it my way. And so these are ideas that I have for sculpture. Here's a, here's a picture of a Donatello sculpture. I'm very much a fan of Donatello, who uh, was a Renaissance sculptor. And I'll take this picture, I'll start drawing it, a repeated drawing or watercolor. I've got this idea of this image of this classical sculpture, and then when I'll start working on it, here's my base, I'm ready to go, and then you kind of get an idea, you're looking at a position. And I've seen some really nice ones where the people, they're down on their hands and knees like uh, from uh, uh, the volcano. So I'm thinking that there's a, a lot of ideas to just express here. And I'm just getting started on it. So I'll come here and find some, find some pieces of wood and start putting them, start placing them and uh, just start building until I get, I see, I have this form in my eye, my mind, 
And it's, in, it's locked in my mind because I've drawn it, I've painted it, and then I'll start placing these things. And the fact that I'm, now I'm using the wood from a disaster just adds a lot more content to it that is kind of beyond me. It's not like I've, I've thought about it at all. It just, it just happened. And now I'm into it because I think it'll, it, it's, a, it's a subject that's going to keep me involved for a long, long time. formal take but I could do some real interesting things so then the idea is to get back and look at it if I had some wire I would twist it on there I can hold it together with wire you can see wires on some of these and then I'm gonna drill it I'll drill a hole and bolt it screw it together so this piece again it's about the Hurricane Irma the Florida Keys this odd looking black thing is part of a crab trap where these traps are all out in the water, stone crabs. And uh, this one was just broken and really torn up from the hurricane. And I didn't really know what to do with it, but I didn't throw it away. I just hung on to it. And then I'm looking at a, a classical sculpture where uh, the, the sculpture, the guy's walking. And uh, it just occurred to me that I could put this together. And so that's part of a crab trap.